Welcome back to North of the Broad. I'm your host, Karen Wyman, coming to you from downtown Buford and Low Country Produce. I'm joined this afternoon by my very dear friend and owner of Artisan Yoga and Massage, Elizabeth Vanderpool. Hi, Hi Elizabeth. I'm really glad that you're here this afternoon. We get an opportunity to talk about yoga, which is a passion for both me and you. Um, and I know that you have a lot going on in the studio, and we want to be able to share that with the community. Thank so, you for giving um, me the opportunity. Yeah, absolutely. So um, the motto at the studio is one truth, many paths. Can you talk a little bit about that and the meaning behind it? Sure. It actually comes from a Gandhi quote. The quote originally is, truth is one, paths are many. So we paraphrase it. What it means at the studio is that yoga is beneficial for everybody, both physically and mentally, but one style of yoga doesn't necessarily speak to every person. Absolutely, yeah, and we, and we all know that, that there's so many different styles of yoga and teachers that you have at Artisan. I think that that's what makes it so beautiful. Well, thank you. Um, so one of the things that um, we hear a lot as, as teachers or studio owners is there's always some excuse about why someone shouldn't come to yoga or doesn't want to come to yoga. What are some of the most common ones that, that you hear from people when you're just talking to them about possibly coming to the studio? Oh, I think you'll probably agree. The biggest reason that we get for not coming to yoga is I'm not flexible enough. <laughs> <laughs> um, which is supposed to be the product of yoga, definitely not a prerequisite. Right. But you and I in this Instagram world see these beautiful 20-something pretzel girls um, and the, the pictures are beautiful, but that's not everything that yoga is or everybody that practices. Right, and that's not necessarily the goal for everybody. Absolutely not. And it could be that you're not maybe looking for flexibility, but maybe you need some serenity, some peace and quiet to be able to turn off the noise in your head and just spend some quality time with yourself exactly. on your mat. So, um, but you know, there's lots of things going on um, in Buford, as we talked about um, with uh, one of our other guests, but I know there's a lot of things on the horizon at Artisan. Could you share that with our viewers? Oh, I am super excited. In 2016, beginning in March, we'll have a teacher training program. Um, when we do teacher training, I wanted it to be world class. So I contacted different training schools, and Green Monkey out of Florida is partnering with Artisan to host the training. They're an amazing program. Their faculty is taught worldwide. Kirsten Mooney, who is one of the owners of Green Monkey, has been featured in Yoga Journal and often presents at their conferences. I just couldn't say enough. So that starts in March. Super excited. Yep, and we should let people know that if they're if they're not currently a teacher and they're looking to get is a 200 hour program. Yes, ma'am. There's an opportunity to get 200 hour um, teaching certificate. And if you're already a teacher and looking for CE like myself. You can dip into this program, correct, and take a weekend at a time? Exactly. I actually had the question yesterday. Somebody asked me, I'm not that good at yoga. Can I take a teacher training? <laughs> and the thing is, it's always a practice. You don't even have to be a yogi, and I put that in air quotes because I'm not even sure what that means, mm -hmm. but you don't have to be currently practicing to even take the teacher training. Right. And as I know, someone who's been through, through a 200-hour, um, it just opens up your world to so many other things, I mean, how you're able to communicate with people in your lives, how you're able to, to manage a team of people. So regardless of what you're looking for, there's so many benefits just besides that physical practice. Exactly. Yep. So, um, so we know that as teachers, we're very involved in the community and that Artisan is involved in so many different give backs. But could you share with the viewers um, all the different things that you've done, or some of them, not all of them, because there's not enough time, um, and, and special classes that, that come up from time to time and give backs that you do to the community? Absolutely. Uh, we are in our third year of what we call being of service. We give a free yoga class to active military and their spouses on the second Thursday of every month. We also have childcare available because we know sometimes that can be a hardship to coming and practicing. Um, we have done Yoga It Forward where we give free donation classes to various charities. But in 2016, I have something that's close to my heart. Um, and the story behind it, you and I were at a health fair together mm -hmm. and a gentleman came from an AIDS organization and asked if he could have some free classes for he and his staff just as a thank you for those that give so much. And I thought, what a fantastic idea mm -hmm. to give back to those people that give to the community. So in 2016, we'll be calling and offering private yoga sessions to nonprofits in the area, completely no strings attached, our way of giving back to the givers. Yeah, and I think that's just so beautiful um, because yoga gives so much back to me personally. Um, it's just, and there's so many organizations out there that are constantly 
working with sh short budgets, tight budgets, working overtime in order to provide all those services that we see here in this community. I think it's a beautiful thing for you to be able to offer um, some of the tranquility and benefits that I get out of my yoga practice to those people who may not be able to, um, to squeeze that into their budget or offer it to their, to their staff. So thank you so much, Elizabeth, for doing that. I can't wait. Yeah, so any other services um, that are offered at the studio that we wanted to share with, with the viewers? Yeah, Artisan is known for its yoga, but we do also offer massage. I have two massage therapists on staff who are amazing. Anything from your Swedish massage to a Thai yoga massage, they can do just about anything, and they are both fantastic ladies, and both yogis as well. That's right. I know them both really well. So thank you so much for being a guest on North of the Broad this afternoon and sharing all the wonderful things that Artisan has to offer to Buford and the surrounding community. Um, we hope that you'll come and be a guest after you go through your, the teacher training that you're offering and, and give us some information and feedback. So thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Yeah. And we'll be right back with our next guest on North of the Broad.